Okay, so if you're asked to right, rewrite this in an equivalent way, what could you do? Well, that just means to balance it out. So whatever I do to one side, I can do to the other. And then that new form of the inequality will be equal. So what might I do? Well, I might, let's try subtracting 4 from both sides. What that does, of course, is it cancels out this 4, right? 4 minus 4 is 0. And negative 7 minus 4 is negative 11. So now we have our x, we haven't touched that yet, plus 0 is less than or equal to 11. Um, so what I'll do is, I'll just rewrite this as x is less than or equal to negative 11. And, oh, wait, this is negative. That could be also be written as, right, I'll write it up here, x is less than or equal to negative 11. All I did there was switch, right, the way I wrote this. In both cases, right, this sign closes near the x, which means that side is smaller and opens towards the bigger number. So these two are equivalent. And if they give you multiple choice, you can circle either this one or that one. They're both correct. So they might ask you to do that. They might say, which inequality is equivalent to this? Well, that just means rewrite it in a different way where it still has the same relationship, right? But it looks different. So of course, you, you have to be careful. You can't change this so it says something like this, x is greater than or equal to negative 11. You have switched, right, the values but not switch the inequality, so this would be wrong. If you were to switch this x over here and this negative 11 on the left hand side to keep this equivalent, it also change the direction of the inequality, just as we did right here. All right, hope that helped.